Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath and this is an exciting video because we are unboxing the latest releases in the Ultraman franchise from Mill Creek Entertainment. These have not even been opened. I just got them out of the mailbox. Hashtag straight out of the box. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that, that hashtag to catch on. Guys, these are the latest releases from Ultraman. We have covered every single Ultraman release to date, including standard versions, steelbook versions, all the things in between. I'm going to link that playlist. There's a handy dandy playlist right here. You can check out all of our Ultraman coverage. We have been there from the start. Hashtag Ultraman. Hashtag straight out of the box. <laughs> All right, guys, with all that out of the way, let's see what we have. Let's see what we got in this package here. Okay, sweet. So we have Return of Ultraman. Is it the Return? No, just Ultraman. Return of Ultraman. Uh, this is the standard version. This is the Blu-ray box set. So uh, what we're going to do is, it, well, first we're going to ooh and ah over the packaging. So ooh and ah. It's a little Goldblum, right? Uh, first we're going to... Uh, uh, ooh, and my gosh, he looks. Oh, we're just gonna, oh, we're just gonna ooh and ah. So okay, so that's the standard packaging. There's another package here that contains. Oh, it contains the steelbook version. Let me get the glare off of that. This the, the steelbook version of Return of Ultraman. Let's ooh and ah. Okay, and then uh, we're, we'll open these in just a second. We'll go through the booklet. We'll do all the all the cool stuff there. And then this is, uh, you guys, Ultraman Orb is my favorite Ultraman series to date. It's the one that I've watched that I've, I've enjoyed the most for whatever reason. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Doctor Who. I don't know, but this is the Ultraman. All right, let me get this right. It's Ultraman Orb, the origin saga. Uh, bonus includes Ultra Fight Orb. So it's two different um, entities. Let's see. I forgot to ooh and ah. Ooh. And ah. So if you like Ultraman Orb, this is the origin of the characters from Orb. Um, the, um, oh, I, I almost said like the good guy and the bad guy. I don't even want to say that because it's not that, com it's, it's, it's not that simple. It's complicated. Hashtag it's complicated. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ultraman the Orb Saga is 12, epi no, Ultraman Orb the Origin Saga is 12 episodes, and Ultra Fight Orb, let me borrow the power of Father and Son, that's going to be the Ultraman Orb Origin movie, I believe, we'll know more about that in just a moment, because we're going to crack this open together, what, what do we think is under here, you guys, let's, do we think that this is, um, by the way, it says Ultraman Orb series, uh, plus bonus, plus uh, Blu-ray, plus digital. And then on the back, it says, uh, the ultimate combo includes the prequel and sequel events to the Ultraman Orb series. I did not realize that was a sequel event. Uh, Ultra, I guess that's Ultra Fight Orb. Oh, I've got so much to discover. Let's take a bet. Lay down your wagers right now. Different artwork on the inside, same artwork. Um, three, two, one. Oh, it's different artwork. Holy cow, that looks cool. I need a poster of this need um <laughs> need a poster that's amazing and here's the back oh we didn't here hold Ooh, and ah so that is uh okay you know what we're we're we've got this out let's open this up really quick all right shrink wrap get out of here okay we ha have a movie spree digital redemption uh all of the you know, mill creek's proprietary streaming service is movie spree and it includes a code so you can watch these on your phone on your mobile device your ios device your computer there's an app hey guys there's an app for that uh for like roku and stuff like that so you can watch it on your tv as well all right so there are we got two two blu-rays let me flip this around so you get the art facing straight up Okay, here's Ultraman Orb, the Origin Saga. Gorgeous art on that with all the, all the characters. Um, and here is Ultra Fight Orb. Okay. So the whole thing together is five hours and 18 minutes. This is what I'm starting with because I'm such a big fan of Orb. I love Orb. All right, so we'll set Ultraman Orb aside for right now. Uh, what should we go with next? Should we do the Steelbook version or the Standard version? You know what? Let's go with the Steelbook version. The limited 
you know, I, I say limited. <laughs> I don't think anyone said these are limited. This is just the the co highly collectible. How about that? The highly collectible steelbook version of Return of Ultraman. Return of Ultraman. All right, here we go. One of the things that I love about these steelbooks is the way that they put like the text and all that stuff on the cover, and then the steelbook itself is just clean. And the there, okay, so hold up. There's a booklet as well. We're going to go page by page through this booklet in just a moment. Uh, the back of this shows Ultraman with his... Here, hold on. There. They've replicated. It's the same thing. So you get, you get both of those... Ooh, discs are falling out. Hold up, guys. I have another digital redemption for Return of Ultraman. Okay. We take the discs away so you can see the... By the way, it's six discs. Just wanted to show you the the interior artwork of the of the steelbook itself. Those are <laughs> comically placed hubs. Those hubs, uh, those uh, spindles, whatever you want to call these. That's um, <laughs> no comment. Hashtag no comment. What's up with the hashtags in this video? Let's just have fun. Let's just have fun, you guys. Okay, so six discs. Uh, we'll look, we'll do the disc by disc arts when we get to the standard version, so I don't have to worry about dropping one of these. But this is going to be our steelbook packaging. What are you guys going to opt for? Are you more into the standard, regular box Blu-ray packaging with uh, the, the the benefit of the that packaging is the spine mural? Okay, so uh, let's go through the book page by page. It says, on a mission to save Earth, Ultraman has returned. By the way, she mentioned this is the next chronological release after Ultra 7. We have Ultra Q, Ultraman, uh, Ultra 7, and now this is the fourth. Let me make sure. Um, yeah, the fourth. It is numbered on the spine. I didn't show you guys the spine. Oh, I, I, have, I have failed as a YouTuber. Um, <laughs> there's the, the four on the spine. So these, uh, this is the fourth release. And again, we've covered them all. Uh, sometimes unboxings, and then we follow back with a full review. That playlist, you guys, you gotta check that playlist out. So here's our table of contents. Uh, they give you episode guides. They give you character portraits. They give you the history of the show, Subaraya. Let's see, I'm not gonna read all this right now, but passing the torch, mixing the old with the new. Oh, that's, I know that pose. That's the famous Ultraman pose. Um, release and legacy. Uh, the, the hero profile, Ultraman Jack. Here's our humans, the human characters from this season series, the series of Ultraman. And then here's our episode guide. So um, I'll just hold that up long enough so you can get a look at those episodes and those titles. You can pause it if you want to. There's this next, next page. And yet the next page did i skip a page hold on i did skip a page i don't think i showed you guys this one i gotta say for you know being um physical media collector this booklet smells amazing <laughs> if they made this in candle form uh i would uh i'd, I'd have to buy that it's new print paper is what it would be blu-ray booklet paper that's what it that's the scent you guys oh man some of these monsters look super cool that was disc five here's disc six it's gonna be our last disc but there's more let's see what else here okay we've got our uh, a key kaiju so here are i believe six key kaiju japanese giant monsters on this page and almost done let's see and here's the full kaiju guide all of these monsters appear in this series of ultraman return of ultraman and then there's one more page ah oh, this is going to be our key technology i i love the way that mill creek gives us these booklets i love the way they give us this information so you can kind of it's just the extra bonus right it's that extra little touch we talk all the time here about how I love a booklet. And in today's modern physical media market, a booklet is not a guarantee. It's actually become a real rarity. 
uh, but I love a booklet. Okay, so let's open the standard packaging. We're not gonna, we won't go through the booklet again. We're just gonna show the, uh, by the way, there's the spine. We'll line all these up in just a second so we can compare the mural, or, or not compare, but just kind of appreciate. That's the word, we'll appreciate the mural. All right, so uh, standard blue, six disc Blu-ray box with the booklet. We've talked about the booklet, so. That looks good. Ooh, and ah, wow. Hold up. All right, taking out the uh, another digital redemption from Movie Spree. Check that out. It's gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. On the interior, um, see if you can see through the blue, the blue artwork there, or the the artwork beneath the blue. Hashtag beneath the blue? No, one hashtag too many. Okay, so uh, let's go disc by disc. Let me flip these around. All right, here's disc one. Here is spin. Discs two and three. Spin like your life depended on it, Blu-ray. Discs four and five. And then of course, disc six. So that is the standard. Uh, and again, they're not, I don't think this is being called standard. This is just your Blu-ray box set, a traditional Blu-ray box set. It has everything that the Steelbook has, but uh, not the Steelbook. We have the booklet. We have, um, of course, all the discs. But, you know, I really think that these are, are great in how Mill Creek is serving these markets because uh, there is the Steelbook collector. There are, Steelbook collecting is huge. It's a massive, um, massive part of the physical media community. But you don't have to have that. You can also grab this version. And with the spine mural... Oh, it's going to look good when it's all said and done. You know what? Let me grab the others off the shelf. I'm going to use my fancy powers to, uh, to dematerialize, and I will be back in just a moment with the rest of the boxes. All right, Kaiju Busters. I got the rest of the Ultraman seasons off the shelf. We have Ultra Q. We have Ultraman. We have Ultra 7. And then joining the team... The return of Ultraman. So this is the the four existing. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? That mural is fantastic, and I love the way that Ultra Q is in a black logo. the The color is black for that logo, and the rest are red because, of course, there is no Ultraman character in Ultra Q. Um, it's um, it's more of a team, a science team kind of a thing, and so it kind of stands alone. And uh, there's no. It's also a black and white series. It's the only one that's black and white. I bet, yeah, I bet, mm, I, I think I see what's going on there. Guys, that is gonna do it for this video. These are the latest releases in the Ultraman franchise. Which ones are you going to grab? As always, I'm going to put the pertinent links that you can grab these in the video description. Below this video, you will find links to all of these uh, box sets. You will find links to our past Ultraman coverage. Uh, and it's Serial at Midnight.com. You'll find all of this as well. In fact, you can just click straight over through Serial at Midnight.com to purchase these directly from Amazon. I get comments a lot saying, Hey, Heath, do you think that they're going to put out, you know, Common Rider, whatever, or some, uh, some other kaiju, some other tokusatsu series? And the answer to that that I always say is if you want more uh, Japanese television, if you want more kaiju, if you want more things like this, we have to support these. You vote with your dollars. With everything that you buy, you're sending a message to the people that are selling that, that yes, I am interested in this. So by purchasing these, you are sending a message directly to Subaraya Productions that yes, America, North America is interested in international product. We're interested in kaiju. Yes, there is an audience for tokusatsu television on uh, in American homes. So support what you care about, and if you do, we will have more. This is how it works. You support what's out there. You vote with your dollar. So vote for these. Pick these up. Again, links in the description below. 
Guys, thank you so much for hanging out, talking about the latest uh, releases in the Ultraman franchise. Of course, we will be doubling back very soon with reviews for this. Keep your eyes peeled to our Serial at Midnight social media outlets. Again, all those links are in the description below, as well as to SerialAtMidnight.com because we will have lots to say about the Ultraman series that you see in this video. Guys, thanks again. Take care. And until next time, by the way, also thank you to Mill Creek for sending these to us so that we could open them on camera, share this experience with, uh, with the audience, and, uh, and share our love for Ultraman. So thank you to Mill Creek, and thank you, thank you again to you guys. So take care. Until next time, I will catch you later.